Hey guys, today I am going to talk about Hasbro and actually read you a employee exit interview or a ex-employee went on Commander Herald and talked about the layoff and some of the interesting things that happened. So question number one, was there any severance? And if so, was it reasonable? And the answer was no, there was a not reasonable severance. There was some severance, but looking at other companies, it was lower. Was the layoff something that came out of nowhere? Uh, we had several town hall Q&As with Human Resources, Cynthia Williams, and Chris Cox, where they bought it up. And the one with Cynthia, she responded to the HR's comment of, we are killing it by correcting her and saying we actually were not. She then called out to someone in the back of the group saying, I believe wizard numbers are lower than last year, to which the person that she was speaking to said they were actually up. So obviously, Cynthia has a very different reality. So everyone saying from Tolarian Community College to you know, everyone online is saying that, wow, this uh, Hasbro is doing such a great job and just, just absolutely killing it. But according to Cynthia in this town meeting from this ex-employee, they were not. They were doing very poorly, according to Cynthia. Were any of the internal fault lines, both within Wizards of the Coast and within Hasbro's in general, is there any generational divide, for instance? The employees messed very well. Uh, from your experience, were the layoffs targeted at upper, middle, or lower class employees? Across the board, the only exceptions were the exec who needed to be held accountable the most. Is your faith in Hasbro as a company any different now compared to a month ago? Faith is much, much lower. Uh, yes, much, much lower, right? Uh, however, this was dropping even before the layoffs. How much exposure to the details of Wizard Coast branded items that the standard Hasbro employee have? That depends on where you work. What was the internal reception to Alta Fox's attempt to separate Wizards of the Coast from Hasbro? In 2022, it was hard to hear anything about this so much. Becoming one with Hasbro is going to be wonderful being shouted at, at us. Uh, MTG Arena, what are some resources you know about that can help those who have been laid off by Hasbro? LinkedIn seems to be the best currently. And uh, so on. So that was an interview with a ex-Wizards employee. So it looked like that the Cynthia Williams, the management, thought they were doing really, really bad and needed to be laid off. And the employees, the numbers would indicate that they did very well, which leads me to believe that something else is at play here, right? So they're at this town meeting. Typically, at these town meetings, the boss should be like really encouraging and motivating, but their town meetings, their boss is like, F you guys, you guys have done bad, we're losing money. And employees are like, no, we're not losing money, Cynthia. And they're like, no, F you guys, we're definitely losing money. You know, with no data or statistics. Ooh, um, yeah, people ask, you know, I, I will come back to magic when this changes, when leadership changes. Chris Cox, I think, is not good at managing the company. The reason Chris Cox got promoted and then he picked Cynthia Williams, right, is because supposedly he did such a good job at Wizards of the Coast. Remember, Chris Cox was the Wizard of the Coast CEO during basically the beginning of the pandemic where everything, including Monopoly, I mean, people playing board games like crazy at that time. And I guess the investors or the board of trustees or, or the Rudy Chan, right? Rudy likes to think of himself as an investor, right? Uh, that he can buy out the company. I guess they decided that, you know what we should be doing right now? Uh, we should actually just be putting all you know, all of our trust into this one dude because he did such a good job during the pandemic. I'm sure, I'm sure he can do just a as good of a job after the pandemic is over because that's how it works, right? And the answer was no, that is not how it worked. That was actually quite terrible, quite awful. And in terms of, yeah, I mean, this is one of these really weird things that I think happens more often than you believe is your boss isn't necessarily on your team. Your boss is just looking to like lay you off anytime. So 
I would uh, for sure mention one other thing about the game and you know people say oh the game is doing well it's, it's super healthy and and you know the people selling you the game pieces right they gotta pretend that things are going well because if they pretended they were going poorly no one would buy the return to Ravnica set that Rudy is so fond of right now you know limited edition he says even though everything has been print printed to oblivion uh supposedly this one set will be a limited edition according to rudy uh no unless management changes let, let me just be 100 unless management changes nothing can change because management can just keep laying off people hire the people they want yes men and if you don't agree so it seems like at this town hall people were actually arguing with cynthia over the numbers and the data I bet you Cynthia took a lit. I mean, I bet you Cynthia was like, "Oh man, you argued against me. You're done. You're done, though, right?" Um, I think that's probably what happened here. Is that all the people who had good ideas, all the people who wanted to argue a little bit, all the people who basically disagreed with Cynthia are no longer there and have been replaced by yes men. And those yes men are essentially agreeing with Cynthia. Oh yes, you're so right, Cynthia. I can't believe, you know, I can't believe how smart you are, Cynthia, and how good at selling cigarettes to kids you are. My gosh, that's exactly the talented individual we need to lead our company into greater revenue in the future because that's all we care about. You know, as a Magic the Gathering um, fan, you know, and I've been a fan longer than you guys have been alive, many of you. I've been a fan longer than the NPL has existed. You know, I've been, I play Magic since I was very young, since I was like four or five years old. And I've never seen a worse time for Magic players than now. And I don't care about what the BS and social justice everyone's saying. It, it's a really bad time because the management is really bad. It's, it's really that simple. Uh, Chris Cox should not be the manager of Hasbro. And same for Williams for sure. Somebody who's never played. People will argue, oh, well, they can still run a business. Oh, so you thought she run a business well. No, man. Nah. The Dungeons and Dragons are a lot stronger than the Magic. The Magic players are like very weak and very weak-minded. The Dungeons and Dragons people, they're all at arms right now about this. But nobody in the Magic community gives a shit. Even Tolan Community College, oh, I guess they had good reasons. Nah, man, they didn't have good reason. They got rid of the people who didn't want to, uh, who didn't, didn't want to uh, deal with anymore. That's why they're gone. Because they argued with her, and now they're all gone. Yikes.